Caitlyn Jenner has made it abundantly clear to her conservative friends that while she does believe that they're correct, that trans people are mostly bad overall, well, she's one of the good trans people, perhaps the only good trans person in existence. And this is clear just by looking at her Twitter timeline. It is absolutely filled with right-wing talking points about trans people, and in numerous instances, she literally promotes actual discrimination against trans people specifically because they are trans. For example, she quoted a TMZ article quoting her where she says, Caitlyn Jenner is furious with Nike over its new endorsement deal with Dylan Mulvaney, saying the sneaker giant is going so woke by throwing money at the trans influencer, but not Olympic hero, Allison Felix. So they went woke because they sponsored a trans woman instead of a cis woman. Well, first of all, why can't they do both? Second of all, in 2018, Caitlyn Jenner herself touted sponsorships that she received with Mac Cosmetics and John Paul Mitchell Systems. Now ask yourself this question, why would she accept brand deals with makeup companies when there's probably a cis woman who's much more deserving than her? Hmm, I wonder if she actually believes the bullshit that she's saying. Hmm. But I've got another example for you because she tweeted support for trans sports bands and a quote of herself saying, I don't think biological boys should compete in women's sports. And I have to ask again, this shoe, because back in 2016, she participated in a women's golf tournament. So why is it okay for her to do it, but not other trans people, specifically trans high schoolers? who are the targets of these bills oftentimes. So you kind of start to see the trend here, right? But let me play you a video that Caitlyn Jenner was outraged by because this example is definitely a reason to be mad. So as you're watching this, try to figure out why someone like her who's transgender with specific needs as a trans woman would be mad at something like this because uh, you might think that this is uh, relatively innocuous, but as you're going to see... She has a very good reason to be outraged by what we're about to watch. We need to provide that culturally competent care in general for all communities, but in this case for our LGBTQI plus community, I think it needs to start in our training and in school. Future healthcare providers, the next generation, is focusing on giving problem solving skills so that healthcare providers, even if they don't know everything, because no one can know everything, at least know the resources and how to find that information. I think medical schools could do a lot more with training new doctors to understand the diversity of the world. My doctor, his work is about affirmation. He's dedicated his life to making his patients feel seen. Start with do no harm and no judgment. I think it's absolutely wonderful that LGBTQI plus people are being educated to work in healthcare and are working in this field. I think it's really important that as we do that, this we expand care for members of our community, that we educate our peers and allies in, in terms of cultural competency. We first have to acknowledge that we've made great strides, especially in the base levels of tolerance. More and more healthcare providers know to ask about pronouns, are putting materials out in their waiting rooms that are more gender neutral and able to represent people from a more diverse perspective. However, I really think the next step is getting the content to healthcare providers. And what does that look like? It means really targeting health professional training schools, making sure that they have an adequate amount of curriculum. So basically medical professionals should be trained to deal with the specific needs of LGBTQ patients and that training should start in medical school. This is a conversation about healthcare. So why is this so offensive to someone like Caitlyn Jenner who has specific needs as a trans woman? Well, because as British influencer Ali London put it, Rachel Levine, and they put Rachel in quotes, by the way, Biden's assistant secretary of health wants teachers to be trained in teaching gender ideology in schools. Quote, I think it needs to start with training in school. And Caitlyn Jenner responded by saying, I think the last thing that needs to happen is have these convos with young vulnerable children in schools. This is so wrong. Stand up for parental rights. Yeah. Now, since you and I actually watched the fucking video that they're outraged about, you would know that it is not about teaching children gender ideology in schools. It features the assistant health secretary talking about adults in medical school being trained to deal with these specific and unique needs 
of LGBTQ plus people. But regardless, Caitlyn Jenner was outraged and she plugged her pack she recently launched. And she's so proud of that that she actually pinned her announcement tweet to the top of her Twitter page. And it reads, today I publicly launch Fairness First Pack to fight the radical gender ideology, put parental rights at the forefront of education and keep boys out of women's sports. So to anti-trans right-wingers, she is clearly demonstrating that despite how terrible the radical rainbow mafia may be, her words, not mine, there are some trans people who are actually good primarily her, perhaps only her. And she explains why she's different than most trans people who are bad, by the way, when this person asked her, Dear Caitlyn Jenner, if you see trans women as biological boys and continuously misgender other trans women, what do you truly see yourself as? What pronoun should we use when referring to you? Because clearly you don't identify as a woman. Now, Caitlyn Jenner responded to that saying, I have never claimed to be a biological woman. That would be factually incorrect. I am trans and biologically male. I I'm using my platform to be a voice of reason, an advocate for fairness, a trans example, and not force my thoughts, beliefs, or identity on anyone. So because she simply wants to live her life as she pleases and not force her beliefs on everyone else, like all bad trans people who are demanding acceptance, unreasonably so, well, she's a good trans person. She's a trans person that conservatives can get behind and support. Because if all trans people were like her, then they wouldn't be a problem. But because they're not like her, they are a problem. The issue with this line of thinking is that that's not how any of this works. By simply being trans, you are by definition, according to conservatives, Caitlin, pushing radical gender ideology that you purport to be against yourself. You're pushing that on all of us just by existing as a trans woman. And they'll use you to the extent that you're willing to be the token trans person that legitimizes their anti-trans bigotry and you support their anti-trans pieces of legislation. But they will never, ever truly accept you for who you are, regardless of what you say and do for them. Because for a fascist movement that wants to eradicate transgenderism, even a minimal amount of tolerance is unacceptable. Why? Because that could be a Trojan horse for full blown acceptance. And therein lies the problem with the pick me strategy overall. And Matt Walsh made his feelings very clear about Caitlyn Jenner and why he still doesn't support Caitlyn Jenner, despite all of the pandering that she's been doing to anti-trans conservatives. So in response to Caitlyn Jenner calling Nike woke over their brand deal with Dylan Mulvaney, Matt Walsh responded saying, Jenner's position is incredibly incoherent. If transgenderism is valid and trans women are actually women, as gender obviously believes, then there's nothing wrong with hiring Mulvaney to model women's clothing. If trans women aren't women, then Jenner isn't either. Which is it? He adds, Jenner has done more than any other trans-identified person in existence to normalize and mainstream transgenderism. And yet, somehow, he, he's misgendering her here, is embraced by Fox as the voice of reason on this subject. It's ridiculous. Now, somebody politely pushed back against Matt Walsh here, saying, Caitlyn Jenner still has his kids call him dad upon first transitioning. He believed all the liberal shit but realized how bad and wrong it was and has changed positions. He's openly stated that trans women aren't real women. I have no beef with Jenner. Now, Matt Walsh responded to that, explaining why Caitlyn Jenner, regardless, is still irredeemable. Quote, Jenner's, quote, transition and his Woman of the Year title in 2015 single-handedly mainstreamed transgenderism more than anything else that any individual person has done before or since. He is partly responsible for much of what we're experiencing today. He still walks around dressed like a woman. He is not a coherent or credible voice on this subject. He should apologize for what he's done, fully repudiate trans trans ideology and then go off into retirement. He adds, I totally welcome and embrace D trans people. They are critical to this fight, but that's not Jenner. He still presents himself as a woman and hasn't come anywhere close to fully acknowledging and trying to make amends for the severe harm that he personally has done to culture. So as you can see there, the vitriol oozes from these tweets. They don't even recognize Caitlyn Jenner's basic humanity, misgender her constantly. And yet she bends over backwards to appease these fascists by parroting their talking points. And she even has a dumbass pack now to push for discrimination and exclusion. But still, what has it amounted to? Nothing. They're not even accepting her as the token trans person. Again, they'll listen if she's going to talk about how bad trans people are. But... The problem is 
she's still trans and that's fundamentally incompatible with this movement who thinks trans people shouldn't exist, period, full stop. And this is the problem with all LGBTQ plus pick me's here. Dave Rubin also thought that if he supported Ron DeSantis' don't say gay law and had all these anti-woke talking points, that conservatives would embrace him, even as a gay man, because he's one of them, right? So, I mean, if he's part of the team, then why wouldn't they root for one of their own? The problem was that he got a really harsh wake-up call when he announced that he and his husband were having children, which is when they reminded him that he's a degenerate groomer who's living in sin with his husband, and him having kids is tantamount to literal kidnapping. That's what they said about Dave Rubin, somebody who is supposedly an ally. And I'll say it again, the problem is LGBTQ existence. It's fundamentally incompatible with conservatism. They think that being gay or trans is a choice. And so long as you continue to make that choice, you will never be one of them. What's required is a mea culpa along with the full repudiation of your queerness. Stop being gay, stop being trans, and then you'll be a valued ally in this fight against gender ideology or woke ideology. But until then, they really have no use for you. And the use that they have for you is minimal at best. So, I mean, Caitlyn Jenner can parrot their talking points and join their crusade against trans people, but regardless of the short-term benefit that yields for her, she's still hurting herself in the end. And she's hurting trans people for sure, but she's also hurting herself, even if she doesn't want to believe that. I mean, maybe if she's marching alongside them, trying to blend in with the pitchfork, that'll buy her some time. But I mean, at the end of the day, if conservatives truly got what they wanted, trans people like her wouldn't exist at all they'd still throw her into a blender. Maybe they'd throw her in last in appreciation of her service, but she's still going into the blender with the rest of us. That's the harsh truth about this conservative movement that she is trying so desperately to align with. But this is the media climate that we live in, where it is very beneficial to say things you don't actually believe for clout and uh, money. But in this instance, I don't know why Caitlyn Jenner is doing this. She is already rich. Dave Rubin, Blair White, I get that because they weren't rich. So they throw their own community under the bus because they want money. So what's Caitlyn Jenner's excuse? Because she had everything, as much money as anyone can hope for. I mean, maybe it's a, just a classic case of her putting class interests above her own humanity. I mean, I'm, I'm genuinely not sure. Either way, it's embarrassing. And it demonstrates why the pick me strategy has never worked and will never work. So... They do things like this. People like Caitlyn Jenner and Dave Rubin and Blair White, they do things like this, throw their own communities under the bus at their own peril. Mike is a total shit lip. Once he started chilling for the DNC, I stopped watching. So I definitely won't be hitting the subscribe button or turning on notifications by clicking the bell. No way. It's very sad, I know.